हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सी सेट मंत्रा सी सेट मेड इजी एंड अफोर्डेबल वेलकम टू आवर डेली डोस ऑफ सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस फॉर मोर सॉल्व क्वेश्चंस एंड कांसेप्ट्स काइंडली जॉइन आवर टेलीग्राम चैनल टू एनरोल इन आवर कोर्स काइंडली विजिट सी सेट मंत्रा डॉट कॉम बोथ द लिंक्स आर गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ये शॉपकीपर हैड 750 केजी ऑफ राइस ही सोल्ड ए पोर्शन ऑफ इट एट ए सर्टेन प्रॉफिट परसेंटेज द रिमेनिंग टू फिफ्थ पार्ट ऑफ द होल लॉट वाज इन्फेस्टेड बाय पेस and had to be sold at a loss of 15 percentage if for the entire 750 kg rice the shopkeeper had no profit no loss then what was the profit percentage at which the first part of the rice was sold this question is asked by one of our students so thought of solving this in a daily dose this question is from profit and loss chapter in this problem if you see we are only concerned about percentages We have seven fifty kg of rice. Shopkeeper sold a portion of it at a certain profit percentage. We are talking in terms of percentage here, and the remaining part was sold at a loss of fifteen percent. Again, we are talking in terms of percentage here, and we are asked to find this profit percentage. So we are only concerned about percentages. That means we are free to assume the cost price of this 750 kg rice, my friends. We are not bothered about the real, original, the exact price of uh, this 750 kg rice. So we are free to take the cost price as any value. These percentages will not change, my friends. Amount of profit, amount of loss. I am not talking about percentages. I am talking about amount in rupees. Okay, that may be different for different cost prices of this rice, but the percentages will be same, my friends. Okay, they won't change. These percentages are independent of this cost price. We have solved many such problems in this chapter. Kindly go through it. If we are dealing with only percentages, then we are free to choose any value of this cost price, my friends. Clear, right? Most of the aspirants have this confusion. Cost price is not given, so what to choose? What to choose? What if I choose, you know, ten rupees per kg? What if I choose hundred rupees per kg? Will the values will be different? No, my friends. Okay, no matter what you choose, the percentage is going to remain same. Now here it is said that if for the entire seven fifty kg rice. The shopkeeper had no profit, no loss. So I am assuming the shopkeeper bought seven fifty kg rice at seven fifty rupees, one rupee per kg, my friends. Okay, this will make our life easier. Now he has to sell the seven fifty kgs for seven fifty rupees, my friends, so that he won't get any profit or any loss. Okay, cost price is same as selling price, so no profit, no loss. Clear, right? Now it is said that. He sold a portion of it at a certain profit percentage. We don't know how many kgs of rice he sold. If we know how many kgs he sold, we would have said the cost price, my friends, because a uh, one rupee per kg, right? Since we don't know how many kgs he sold, we cannot say the cost price. We cannot say the selling price, also, my friends. Okay? But all we know is he sold that portion at a certain profit percentage. So the formula, only one formula we have in profit in last chapter. Okay, one plus x one. This x one is profit percentage. Okay, that is equal to s one by c one. This is for the first portion. Clear, right? So to find out this x one profit percentage, we need s one value and the c one value. Now the remaining, how much it is? Two fifth part of the whole lot. Whole lot is the total, okay? So two fifth part of it, two by five of seven fifty kg, my friends, okay? That is a three hundred kg. So he sold this three hundred kg at a loss of fifteen percentage. What is the cost price of this three hundred kg? Okay, three hundred rupees, my friends, okay? One rupee per kg. Now we can find out the selling price from the formula one minus. Fifteen percentage, okay. That is point one five negative because it is loss. S two by C two, okay. So S two is three hundred into point eight five. One minus point one five is point eight five. So three hundred into point eight five. Now this is three into eighty five. Three eights are twenty four. Two forty. Three fives are fifteen. Okay. 
so 255 240 plus 15 255 so the s2 value is 255 rupees my friends now see two fifth part that is 300 kg cost price is 300 rupees selling price is 255 rupees selling price is less than cost price that's why there is a loss now the first portion that would be 450 kg my friends okay 300 plus 450 that is a 750 okay this is three fifth part of the 750 kgs okay so its cost price would be 450 rupees because one rupee per one kg now its selling price would be 495 rupees my friends total selling price should match 255 plus 495 that is equal 750 okay so s1 is basically total minus s2 750 minus 255 that is a 495 now see here weights are matching cost prices and selling prices are matching now the profit percentage of this portion okay 1 plus x1 is equal to s1 by c1 s1 is 495 c1 is 450 so x1 is equal to 495 by 450 minus 1 so 495 minus 450 by 450 this is a 45 by 450 45 ones are 45 tens are okay this is a 0 0.1 to convert it into percentage we have to multiply with 100 my friends okay 0 0.1 into 100 this is a 10 percentage see 15 percentage we wrote it as 0 0.15 right to convert it into percentage we have to multiply it with 100 similarly here 0 0.1 to convert it into percentage we have to multiply it with 100 okay that is a 10 percent so our answer is c so if you see any problem in profit and loss i just solved it using the single formula my friends that's what concepts are limited you can solve any problem with the limited concepts we taught in our course my friends okay have proper understanding of this formula and understand the question very clearly divide and rule method go sentence by sentence you can solve any question my friends okay